Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today we are going to be discussing Bradford City's new loyalty scheme that they are going to be implementing. You can start collecting your points from this season, they'll come into play next season or if we go on a cup run this year and you know there's some big cup games with where the demand is going to be a lot higher than the ticket allocation. But just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it, can we try and hit 50 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Trying to hit that by the end of the year, so that would be absolutely class. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Don't forget as well to get your post notification bell on so you never miss a video of when I upload. That would also be absolutely class. But yesterday, Bradford City officially announced, I mean, we knew it was coming for a while, but it was officially announced that there was there's going to be an all-new loyalty scheme launch. I'm going to talk through the article, what points you get for different things and all that sort of stuff. Um, going to be talking through some of your guys' opinions as well. I asked for some of your guys' opinions over on Twitter. So if you're not already following me on Twitter, the link is down in the description down below. But we are going to start off today's video discussing with the article. So it reads, all new loyalty scheme launched. Bradford City AFC has launched an all new loyalty scheme, rewarding supporters for their commitment in backing the Bantams both on and off the field. Beginning immediately, the scheme will assign loyalty points to fans based on how they choose to show their support for Derek Adams' men through purchasing season tickets away priority and 19 or three club memberships and more. The scheme will be introduced to provide additional priority purchase windows for away fixtures from the beginning of the 22-23 season. A loyalty points occurred this campaign will come into play. Supporters with the most loyalty points will have the have greater priority with regards to all fixture ticketing opportunities, primarily away games and cup fixtures. Should, however, cup fixtures arrive this season where demand for tickets outweighs supply, the scheme could be introduced earlier. With all fixtures and other events over the course of the season offering supporters an opportunity to claim further points. Loyalty points will be awarded to each supporter by the 31st of July 2021 on the following basis. Purchasing a season ticket is 150 loyalty points. Purchasing a away priority membership is 50 loyalty points. Purchasing a 1903 club membership is 40 loyalty points. Attending a home fixture is 20 loyalty points. Attending a away fixture is only 10 points. Uh, please note, supporters who have already secured parts of the above ahead of the 21-22 season will have loyalty points applied to their account which will be reflected by the end of this month July for example a supporter who has purchased a take me home season ticket and a 1903 club membership at the end of the May will at the end of May surely it should be at the end of this month Anyway, they will have 190 loyalty points applied to their account by the end of July. Supporters will be able to keep tabs on the amount of loyalty points they currently have by logging into their online ticketing account via the club's official ticketing website, which, I mean, me and some of my mates had a, a lot of problems with that, using that yesterday. I've still not managed to get tickets for the Doncaster or Blackburn games. I tried to, you know, go on my account, logged in, added the tickets to basket, and then it said I needed to purchase another season ticket. It said I hadn't purchased a season ticket. I asked the Bradford City help to Twitter account. They told me to email them. Um, I sent them through my details, you know, my account number and you know the seat, the exact seat that I was in. They said it was up on the system, but for some reason it wasn't on my account. So if I can get tickets for the Doncaster Blackburn games, then I'll try get a vlog out for that. But it was a bit strange that we've not done it to full capacity for the Blackburn game as well. For some for some reason they've only kept it at four thousand, but. Uh, yeah, I've, I've not been able to get tickets. Uh, I don't have my actual season ticket with me. It's at my granddad's house. So I can't just nip down to the ticket office and get it, unfortunately. So I tried to do it online. It didn't work. Some of my other mates had the same problem as well. I've seen some fans on Twitter also uh, in the same boat. So I don't really know what's going on there. I mean... It's just a bit it's a, it's a bit annoying, really, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to go to the two home pre-season friendly games. I definitely will be going to Bradford Park Avenue and Geyser. They're definitely confirmed. Brighouse's pay on the day, for those who don't know as well. And that's not actually been announced, but Brighouse basically tweeted it out. There's about 1,500 tickets, so I'd, if you want to go to that, I'd say get there as soon as possible. I'm going to obviously try and go there. We're we'll, we'll getting there quite early just to make sure that we can get there, because obviously last time we played Brighouse, it was just a team of trialists, so fingers crossed this time it won't just be a team of trialists. I mean, Derek Adams has said that he's not interested in any trialists, or we won't have many. Definitely not. We won't have squads worth like what we had last, uh, not last season, the season before under Gary Bowie when we had Eccles Hill and Brighouse, but basically just a team of players with 
never heard of before. But anyway, enough about Gary Boyer. Back on to the loyalty scheme. Supporters do not need to be a current season ticket holder in order, in order to be able to occur loyalty points ahead of the 21-22 campaign. All that is required is a membership number on the club's official ticketing website, giving supporters the ability to purchase various products which are available on the site. The club will continue to update supporters with regard to the all-new loyalty scheme, with further details to be announced in due course. To purchase a ticket, and then it's just on about where to purchase all that different sort of stuff. Away priority memberships will go on sale from 9 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, so that'll be tomorrow. Now, if we look at some of the replies to... Um, to Bradford City's tweet we've got one here that says not a fan of this to be honest some took refunds when some didn't some have had season tickets for years some drop out some invested in every eye follow some didn't some buy shirts every year some don't a fan is a fan no matter what don't single fans out I am a, I am a see I, I understand this person's point of view but for a per I, I don't think you can really compare someone who goes to every single game you know say if we play Exeter at some point in the Papa John's trophy I feel like they should be rewarded for the people who just go to Oldham at home on a Saturday I feel like you've got to have some sort of loyal uh, I feel like the loyalty points should come into that for me personally I think the loyalty points should be based on distance and day rather than just a specific amount for a way like you, you could get the same amount for going to Rochdale away on a Saturday than you could for going to Exeter away on a Tuesday night I personally think it should be a little bit different obviously it's just my opinion the club are not going to change the the whole ticketing scheme just because of what I've said on the internet but I would be interested to hear some of your thoughts down in the comments below what are your thoughts on each points tally that you get for certain games I, does, it, does this encourage you to go to more games all that sort of stuff I would be interested to hear I wasn't going to go to every game this year uh, there's a few games that I'm not actually here to come because I'm on holiday or I'm doing something else so I've actually got the ticket uh, the ticket the fixture list up there and I can already see there's about three or four of them that I won't be able to go some of them are on Tuesday nights as well I don't know if I'll be able to go to some of them anymore with college and all that sort of stuff I mean maybe I could try get out of college if I get you know really really far ahead but I, I don't think it'll be likely moving back on to some of the Bradford City fans thoughts and we've got one here that says great idea no system is perfect but priority should be ranked if there's limited away tickets I don't get to near as many away as as I'd like to, but I have no issue with those going, uh, with those who go more to get in more priority. Um, what about uh, points for I follow away games? Just a thought, as I can't get to midweek games most of the time. Someone replied to that saying that makes no sense. People watching at home should not earn points if others have drove four hours to be there. It's just unlucky if you work it, mate. I, I get that, but I still think there should be some. I mean, I, I hopefully I follow's not. An option for next season. I think it should go back to just being uh, overseas fans. Yes, I understand that you know not everyone can get to away games and they still like to watch it. But if people have that comfort of oh we can just watch it at home, it's only a tenner or whatever to watch it, then people are going to be less encouraged to go to a Crawley away, something like that, or a Bristol Rovers away. You know, not exactly the most pleasing grounds are they? And you know they're quite far away. So I, I understand both points of view. People want I follow because you know they still want to support the club. It's still giving money to the club. But on the flip side of things it's also then it might be a reason for people not to go to the games we'll go through a couple more replies then for this to work you have to ban the away game so 30 points for a london game on a tuesday night 20 points for a saturday game in the midlands and 10 points for a local game on a saturday for example that way the true loyal fans are greater rewarded great idea as others have said long overdue we should absolutely be recognizing and prioritizing our hardcore fans um, so you get 150 points off the bat for buying a season ticket so why then do you get more loyalty points for attending a home game than an away game when you've already got a season ticket surely going to uh, a way to follow the team de deserves more am I missing something uh, the new loyalty scheme is a great idea and a long awaited this is also a simple solution to home away debate which largely depends on where you live make attendance at any game worth 20 points to reward all loyal fans now I get that point not every Bradford fan obviously lives in Bradford or all West Yorks you know we've got a, there's a lot of people that actually live quite quite in London and places like that so I, I understand that point of view but the majority of our fan base will be from Bradford so home games are much easier to attend I, I still think personally the away games should be more points it should be banded if you go to a Crawley away on a Tuesday night I personally think that you should get more points than 
somebody who goes to like a, a Rochdale uh, away on a Saturday. Overall though, I do think this is a very, very good idea. I wish it had been brought in two years ago as someone who's been to pretty much every single game for the past two years. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I have to start building up them points once again. Fingers crossed I can get my actual account to work and maybe get uh, some, you know, some seat, uh, not some season tickets, some tickets for the Doncaster or the Blackburn games because right now I don't have any. I mean, if anyone's got any spares going about, I'll happily pay. I'm not paying more than what they're worth it's a pre-season friendly but if anyone has any spares going about i know they're not sold out right now but my account just doesn't physically let me do that so fingers crossed if they do go on sale i'll be able to get some of the tickets then but that is where i am going to leave today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always we massively appreciate can we try and hit 50 likes as i said at the start of the video that would be absolutely class get your thoughts in down in the comments below what are your thoughts on Bradford City bringing in this new loyalty scheme? What are your thoughts on the different points that you get for different games? Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, that would massively, massively appreciate. And it's free to do so, so it does massively, massively help out. Get that post notification bell on as well, so you never miss a video of when I upload. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.